Oh, What's up guys? Good morning. How y'all doing today? So today we're gonna go to Huatape, which is a very famous area in, in Colombia. It's known for its massive rock. If you guys look up Guatape, you'll see it on, on Google. It's beautiful. Now we're not gonna do the traditional tour. We're not gonna go to the rock. We're not gonna go to the city, I don't think. We're gonna do a bike tour through the mountains, through the trails. And I'm actually going with my friend Juan and his friend Christian, who owns a bike tour company. And it's called uh, Gorilla Ride. That's his advertisement. It's actually new. He just started his company and I'm out here helping him, I guess, promote the, this company and um and also get a, a tour of the city of the Watape surroundings. So you guys stay tuned. We're gonna drive from Medellin. Right now we're in Medellin, we're gonna drive to Watape, which is about two and a half, three hour drive. And then there we're gonna start the bike ride and, and tour around. I might get to talk to Christian. He speaks only Spanish, but I might ask him some questions and uh, get some information. So y'all stay tuned, it's gonna be very interesting. Yeah, stay tuned. So we're loading up the bikes. This is gonna be the bikes that we're gonna be using. And here goes the electric motor. And there's the puppy, hey puppy. Hey baby! So let your motor and uh, Christian told me that it's a 500 uh, watt or 500 power motor electric. I've never ridden an electric bike before, so this will be the first time. So it should be fun. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna see. And also, ah, hey, shh. no, no, hey, I know. So the dog almost died, and I saved her. So I did my good deed of the day, and now it's gonna be onto the tours. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you crazy, you crazy girl, huh? You crazy, it's a girl boy. Girl. Ah, yeah, that's so. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna go watch that pay. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and uh, you guys get to see so a lot of parts that most likely you guys won't see if you were to go just on a bus or just going driving to the Watape city. So stay tuned. It'll be good. Guys, so we're in the Pueblo Peñol, and this is close to Watape. So we're trying to decide if we're gonna start from here or go to Watape on the bikes. But check out that horse, just loose. I guess Dick doing his uh, afternoon walk, I guess. <laughs> Only in Colombia. <laughs> All right, y'all stay tuned, okay? I think we're gonna get some to eat first and then we're gonna go on the ride, so stay tuned. All right, guys, we're in El Peñol. This is a very simple pueblo, but we're gonna eat here for a second. But I find it so funny that they have horses just loose in the town it's kind of like uh and in some towns they have stray dogs i guess here they have stray horses <laughs> very good almost there so we're gonna find a place to eat like i said we'll come back to y'all so hopefully you guys are enjoying the um the tour so far the ride up here is beautiful i didn't get a lot of footage because they're playing the radio and all that stuff but also i'm gonna leave some for you guys when you guys come to columbia to visit to check it out as well so let's go Something very interesting about this area. So, the the, the rock, the, the famous rock, is called Piedra Peñol. So this is Peñol right here, and it's a different area. So there's two there's two areas. There's Peñol and there's Watape. So a lot of people, most most of you guys probably think of the that rock, a special rock, being in Watape. And you say, let's go to Watape. But here in Colombia, Colombia is known as Piedra Peñol, which is this area. So it's actually a fight between the two different regions. There's two different mayors try to find out who who actually owns that rock and the, because of all the tourism coming so that's just interesting the fact that they, they actually just told me i just want to tell you guys so anyways look it up on wikipedia or google or whatever i'm hungry i want to eat so see y'all later all right so now he's putting on the battery to connecting it we got some legit bikes here cliff looks like it's a 500 Cause I'm 500, or no? 500 watts. Ah, muy bien. And he already explained everything to us, but this is the the start. The start up. This is to go faster, to go slower. Yep, it goes up to five. So basically, he showed us everything. He talked. He told us everything. I've never ridden an electric bike. I've never ridden a, a bike like this with this suspension. So we'll see how much I get to film because I rode a little bit. and It kind of like. You, su you sink when you push forward so I would hate to like face plant into the ground so I don't know how much I'm going to be filming but stay tuned I'll definitely capture uh, some interesting stuff as we go yeah stay tuned tell me that he has very good quality shocks and brakes Shimano brakes I know nothing about bicycles so whoever knows about, about, about bicycles is watching let me know but uh looks nice to me man 
and we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes stay tuned he said that uh we're going off road we're going to the, to the mountains off road and everything so and he's joking he's like he brought a tent just in case we get stuck out there so we'll see how how, how difficult it is he hasn't he's actually this is a new company he's just starting it and he's actually working we're wor right now we're working to find roots uh around this area so this is like a brand new for everybody another dog that's almost about to die jeez another dog almost dying the, the dogs are suicidal nowadays anyways so we're helping him out to find the routes that he wants to place for his business so it's going to be a big adventure and we're probably going to see in this film even more than what the typical tourists would see even if they went with him because we're probably going to go a whole lot more than or less i'm not sure so stay tuned yeah guys yeah, so i finally have a helmet for my bike rides i probably look super goofy i haven't worn a helmet since i was like in elementary school or probably even not even then probably never worn a helmet in my life but yeah here we go it's part of the tour so we're all wearing helmets today so we're staying safe yeah so stay tuned like i said before we're, we're discovering the routes in the in the region and he just told me uh, christian just mentioned that he's on his when he starts the business here it's going to be different levels uh, very very beginners beginners medium advanced all that stuff and i asked him uh, so are we going to do all the levels today he says i have no idea we don't know the routes we're just going to go everywhere so yeah stay tuned <laughs> I consider myself pretty good shape, but I've never ridden a mountain bike and I've never gone off roading, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> Están listos, sí. Excelente. Excelente, vamos, sí. Con todo. Gorilla ride. <laughs> so so far we've come down this mountain pretty quick. Yeah, I'm definitely not gonna pull out the camera from my pocket to film that. That's that's some dangerous stuff. But uh stay tuned for more, you know. <laughs> so so my my electric motor wasn't is, is whatever it doesn't matter for whatever reason it didn't work for some reason but that wasn't it was technical difficulties we're fixing it but i got to use the bike without a motor and i'll tell you what it was freaking awesome y'all know my bike i have that classic bike from like the 80s that has the gears here the change i'm telling you i'm missing out because here with these little click gears it was so freaking easy to go from like top gear all the way to bottom gear and climb up the mountain i might have to sell my bike get me a better bike who knows any of y'all want to buy my bike comment below <laughs> offer me a price anyways um yeah so basically we just didn't put it in correctly but uh chris is going back to get the key to unlock it and then put it back uh correctly keep it keep it locked down keep it locked down but it's all good man it's a brand new bike he's, he's learning it but again everything all prepared so we're the t we're the guinea pigs as they say <laughs> yeah all right so stay tuned and i'm having a blast and out here can y'all see well you can't see very much but it's beautiful Guatape, Peñol, this area is so green so much mountains just driving up here you fall in love you know so and I've come up here by bus I've come up here by car I've never ridden a bicycle and that short ride that I did for my bike I was saying to myself it's spectacular this is the way to do it would you agree absolutely yeah. that, that's where we're headed first look the Parque tem Temático Repli okay. Replica del Viejo Peñol. All right, so we're going to the re um, Replica. That means, re uh, what do you say in English? It's a replica. Replica. Uh, right, so it's a, a small replica of the town. I've been there before, but you guys haven't been there with me, so we're going to go there first. Stay tuned. You guys, check out this beautiful view. Here's the Lake Guatape, right? Guatape or Peñol? Peñol. Peñol, el Lago Peñol. Yeah. Ah, oh, well. Represa, represa el Peñol. Represa Peñol. So not what to pay. Don't say that because people get upset, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. There's a few, like I said in the beginning of the video, there's a few between Peñol and Watape. Who really owns this place? Right? Am I correct or no? True. Yeah. It's a big fight. Legal fight, actually. A legal fight with, uh... Anyway, so we got the bike working. It's freaking awesome. Going uh, up the hills with electric. We actually passed uh, that couple over there, the girl. She was struggling to go up. She was really struggling, and I felt very bad because I was just I just coasted right past her, not even sweating. It's kind of like almost it almost feels like we're cheating, aren't we? Yeah. It's like we're cheating. Estamos haciendo engañando, ¿sí o no? Yeah, it's like it's como haciendo trampa. Exactly. So it's like we're cheating. Like they're they're working really hard to get that hill, and we're just like. Zoom, 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 zoom. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so this is the beginning of the trip, guys. Stay tuned for more. Hey, guys, so check this out. So, I don't know if you guys know the Charlie Hotel uh, in Parque Jeras. 
this is their location here. So the one says that he thinks is their thing here. It's called La, Ca La Cabala. So we don't know for sure, but he thinks this is it. The cabins from the Charlie Hotel is overlooking this small part of the lake. Looks very beautiful. Yeah, and you got this area here. Beautiful. So now we're discussing, and we think that it's uh, it's not part of the Charlie Hotel. So correct us if we're wrong. Let us know in the comments. <laughs> Super nice. Gotta find out what, what, who this Super to. nice. It's definitely a place where you can come and rent. It looks, it's definitely rental. Or you think it's like um, what's it called? A neighborhood where you can actually like, people own this. They live here. Oh no, like a complex? Yeah. No, no, no. No. This definitely looks like it's something for rental. Uh huh. All right, guys. So we're gonna continue on. Stay tuned. So right around the campo, the countryside of Colombia. You hear the waterfall. I'm able to film so I'm going uphill. But I'm on this electric bike, I'm not even breaking a sweat. This is so much easier than riding my other bike around Medellin. And I'm going up these mountains. Check out that cabin. Cool. Got coffee plants, banana plants. There's a campesino working hard. That's hard work right there. One ass. He didn't hear me. But man, this is beautiful. Check out the lake. I don't know if y'all can see it. Probably not. I'll come back to you in a bit. Actually, let's see if I can see around this corner. Let's check it out. Nope, it's still blocked. Yeah, here we go. You got the lake, you got the view. People, what more do you want? Welcome to Colombia. Welcome to Colombia. My beautiful adopted country. It's so beautiful here, guys. If you haven't made it out here yet, come on. And if the tourism board of Colombia is watching this, Put me on salary, cause I'm promoting this beautiful country. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you enjoy. I'm the, I'm left behind. I'm like the last one here, but it's all good. I'm doing this for y'all. Bring you guys with me. Ah, some of you guys don't like that when I say y'all. I'm sorry. I'm from Texas, from the country. Born and raised. It's part of my vocabulary. All right. Banana trees, coffee trees. Beautiful countryside. Man, oh man. And I got a helmet. So we're good. Alright, let's see what we got over here. The Lake Hotel. Nice. Got an old school house. I'm going up this hill one-handed. And now you're bringing sweat. It's amazing. I'm only on number three. It goes up to five. So it's a pretty powerful bike here. So all of you guys who are not in shape. I don't want to be huffing and puffing and sweating up here and earning that lunch. I'm not even going to be hungry after this. This is for y'all. For the guys who want to earn their lunch and bust their butt, this might not be for y'all. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going downhill, so I'm going to put my camera back in my pocket so I have both hands on the brakes. Hold on, let's see what's around the corner. Yeah, it's nice. All right, so we're good. We're good. No, no big downhill. Super cool. All right, stay tuned. Sorry, I got you guys some uh, footage of the ground, but we're asking this young gentleman here, this young man, how to get around this. Bueno, esto bien? bien. No, el niño. No, no, pero la réplica. Look, he has a real bike. And we're using these uh, electric bikes. So we're lost, but it's all good. We're lost in a beautiful place, and I'm happy to be lost here. I mean, would you guys be complaining in this beautiful nature? Allá fa ojo. So we, we might have to go back. Who knows? Gracias. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we have to go back, so we missed the turn. But it's all good. It's our experience. Uh, Christian, I was all thinking that, man, that dude's quick, that dude's strong, because he's always ahead of us. When we first started the ride, he said, okay guys, don't use five, use uh, three up to four. So I've been using two and three on the, on the electric uh, motor, and uh, just now he told me, oh man, I've been going easy, I've been going five the whole way. So hold on. I'm going down this brake, 
when I was on, I wasn't using my brakes, so I had to apply the brakes, guys. So stay tuned, stay tuned. Sorry, sorry. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Anyways, he was using five the whole time. I'm like, man, you punk. You had me thinking, I had me questioning myself, thinking, man, I'm out of shape, but he's he was cheating. Anyways, we're going back. Here's some beautiful view again. So stay tuned. Okay, so something funny happened. You remember when I was broke when I was broken down kind of bit and I was waiting on this corner and I filmed this sign showing that that's the um replica of uh Peñol, the Pueblo Peñol. Well, guess what? We were supposed to go that way and we went that way probably for how many miles? Probably like what? Five miles or so? Yeah. About five to six miles the wrong direction. So, and we got it on film too that we, we knew that it was pointing this way. So, whatever. It's part of the journey. We're, we're, exactly. we're mapping out the journey for y'all. So when y'all come to ride with Christian, he won't make these mistakes, right? Yeah. We're making the mistakes now, so we won't make the mistakes in the future. But even then, even then it was beautiful. You guys enjoyed the ride, right? Comment below if you guys enjoyed that. All right, so let's carry on. Also another thing, those hills that we went up weren't no joke, were no joke. I felt like I was going up nothing. I felt like I was, I was riding kind of like a plane, a, a slight incline. But these hills were pretty steep and coming down was fun. Coming down was a lot of fun, you know, so. And these brakes are, are good, this brakes. So I didn't feel any time, uh, uh, how you say, in danger or nothing. But yeah, so let's continue, carry on. Hey, check it out guys. So beautiful. Of routes, yeah. He does them all on, on the high speed, four, five, four, five, so you can really, really just get it done. No, and see see how long the battery for the new route would last because uh -huh. that's the idea with really new customers. Uh -huh. They always use the high high gears. Uh even though you tell them not to, they still do. They're they're out of shape, they're lazy, or they're cheaters. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so what what uh, Juan was saying before I turn the camera on is Christian was explaining that when he does a new route, he does everything on five. Just to see how long the battery will last. Uh, extreme example, you know, because there's always gonna be that one guy who's gonna use the, the top battery, and when you use five, it burns out faster. So I've been using one or no battery at all. <laughs> no, it's not true. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> I'm not lying. Finca el encuentro. So it's beautiful here, guys. Uh, and there's another massive sign over there that we almost passed, but we caught it in time, so we went, we're going the right direction. So stay tuned. Yeah. Check it out guys, Pueblo Replica Peñol. From the Pueblo Replica, there's a cross right in the middle of the lake, if I can't see it. And we're greeted by these uh, Pueblo dogs. Hey buddy, how you doing? Beautiful eyes. Let's see, let's check it out. I'll walk around a bit. This is actually where I bought these uh, super expensive Ray-Ban glasses. Cost me 15,000 pesos, which on conversion is about four bucks. And I bought it on that store. Oh, here comes the other dogs. Look, they're running. They're coming. They're being cold. Hami <laughs> charro. These are cute dogs. <laughs> That's a good looking dog right there. All right, so stay tuned, guys. So we got the uh, the Colombian Power Bar for our energy. <laughs> we got the Colombian Power Bar, which is the jumbo chocolate with uh, mani, which is peanuts. We're gonna chow down. <laughs> so we're getting uh, a closer look at the pueblo, and Christian's gonna do his. He has a brand new GoPro, the GoPro Max. Freaking amazing! It does 360 video. He asked me to to if I wanted to use. I'm like, that's too advanced for me. It's, it's muy avanzado, avanzado. No, thank you. <laughs> but uh, he's making a video himself, I guess, for his website. So here's the Pueblo, old church. So this is kind of like Pueblito Paisa, which will be on uh, Sierra Nutiara. But in my opinion, I like this one better. I like this one better. But right now they're doing the, um, they're constructing, they're reconstructing the Pueblito Paisa. So who knows, it might even be better than this when, it, when they're done. But this is like a typical small Pueblito back in the day and you got the fonda over here it's drinking the coffee not bad so again you guys want to come to colombia you want to check out this 
Espanol or Guatape or whatever you want to call it, come check it out. And also, you know, contact Christian for a, a bike ride if you want to, you know, not use too much force and uh, relax. Si, mas tranquilo, si or no? Hey, a mi me gusto. I liked it. Because the ride that we did on a normal bike, I would be freaking hobbling. <laughs> All right, guys. So stay tuned. We're gonna keep on riding. We're gonna keep on adventuring for the um, for new routes and everything. All right, guys. We're doing it. There's La Piedra de Peñol, right there. That big old rock over there. That rock attracts so many tourists every year. There's actually interesting interesting story behind that rock. Uh, maybe later or another day I'll tell you that story. It's very interesting kind of funny but until then stay tuned for the ride let's see because it's a little bit too dangerous to tell a story while i'm right on the street and it's about to come a massive uh, drop a massive hill going downhill so stay tuned look guys check out this house here that orange house that looks like a cob house that they make out of uh, mud and, and straw look at the brown one next to it. yeah i see the blue and brown one it's like the smurf house yeah. So they use uh, straw and they use mud, they mix it together, and that's how they make the house. That's how they do it in England. It's, 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 it's how they do, uh, do it in England, and there's houses in England and, and Europe that's lasted for 300, 400 years made this way. So, super cool. Adobe Adobe. in Mexico. Adobe. In Mexico, see? Bueno, stay tuned. So Christian is telling me that here in Colombia, back in the day, they also did this type of uh, construction. Uh, usually the campesinos or the, the country countrymen and women uh, will use the manure from their cows, the sand and the mud and um, the straw and everything and make their house. But that was a whole lot harder, like uh, labor versus just buying these bricks and, and stacking up the bricks with cement and make their house. So it looks like we're gonna get soaked because it's gonna start raining. It's raining now. So we're gonna have a ride wet. But anyways, we're doing it for you guys. Stay tuned. We're gonna do actually we're gonna do what's the Colombian way. It's raining, we're gonna get shelter, park our bikes, and we're gonna eat lunch. So we're just because here in Colombia it rains, but it rains for like 20-30 minutes, so we're gonna take the time to have lunch at this beautiful place. Yeah, para almorzar, si o no? Bueno, stay tuned. So even here they have the protocols. And we got the traditional campesino coming to town. So we do the, there. Opa. And then we, there we go. We're good. <laughs> got the traditional campesino with machete. See his machete, guys. All right, guys, so now we're going to chow down and eat. This is the typical, in this region, Antioquia, it's called bandeja paisa. So it has basically almost a little bit of everything. We got beans these massive beans i don't know what this yellow thing is what you know what that yellow ogao, stuff is ogao. ogao ah so like onions and tomato and everything mixed up so ogao is like um i can't explain it's onions and tomatoes uh, sauteed we got a plantain here fried we got fried egg rice a salad avocado a blood sausage which is one of my favorites morcillo one of my favorites here in colombia arepa uh, carne molida, which is what ground beef, ground, ground, beef. ground beef, and we got chorizo. Uh, no, yeah, chorizo. Mm -hmm. No, chicharron, chicharron, and chorizo pork here. Grind. Yeah, pork grind and sausage. So this is what the campesinos, the farm people, ate. Because why? Because they're out in the fields working hard all day long, making sweating, burning a lot of calories. They come back in the house. They they need this food to to keep working hard. What did we do? <laughs> we barely rode our bikes. We barely rode that. our bikes. We were on the electricity the whole time, and not even I'm not even sweating. So we're like we're being gluttons, but it's all good because delicious. <laughs> really good with this uh, surroundings, beautiful. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my food, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> oh my lord, guys! I ate it all. All right, now time to go back on our bikes and work hard with the electric motors doing most of the work for us. So stay tuned and keep on going. Guys, check out this house. Ah, you can't see the view. There's the view. That's so cool. Anyways, carry on. All right, guys, check out this view here. There is the Pedra, Pe Piedra de Peñol, right? And Juan is going to tell us a quick story. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's a G and there's an I, all right? 
There's a story behind that. So that's the, that Juan's gonna tell us. So yeah, that's the G, and it's the beginning of a U. And when there was when uh, tourism was starting to pick up here in this this area, uh, the mayor of, of of Guatape was gonna write Guatape on the rock, and then the mayor of Peñol said, "Hey, well, hold on." That, the, the, that rock is in our property and that's when all these legal problems started so and this was years ago this is maybe about six seven years ago right so basically they're starting to write Watape and before even get started with the U they stopped them <laughs> so they're still in the fight even today and they don't know what to write Watape or Peñor we'll see what happens huh but there you go a little history a little story all right we carry on all right guys from here to there is Watape Ah, so yeah, here it says, Ya estás en Guatape. So still the fight's going on, and I guess the mayor of Guatape wants to put a sign saying, This is Guatape. And Peñol saying, No, this is Peñol. So who knows who's what? But there's the rock. Alright, guys, I told you I had a story about the rock. I want to see if I can tell y'all a little bit before we move on to the next station. Um, they want to do some camera work here. But, anyways, this rock here. It's a business and it's owned by one family, okay? And the story behind how it became owned by this one family is that for the longest time, obviously this rock is prehistoric, it's been here forever, all right? And for the longest time, it's been an eyesore. Nobody owned that piece of land. And then the, the, the governor, and uh, correct me if I, I'm telling the story, correct me if I have anything wrong of the rock and how it became part of the family business, okay? Listen to me and tell me if I miss any points. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, um, so I guess like the city or whatever said, all right, that, that rock, no, but we, we can't put cows on it. We can't grow crops on that rock. We can't do anything with it. But we want somebody to own it so they can pay taxes, I guess. I don't know, whatever. So they said, okay, whoever can climb up to the top of that rock will be, be, will be the owner of the rock. Am I, am I good so far? Okay, we'll become the owner of the rock. Well, everybody thought that was stupid and crazy. Who's going to climb up that rock, right? So it's impossible. Well, there was this one guy, and I forget his name. Do you know the name of the family? No. ¿Cómo se llama la familia que compró la piedra? I don't know. Okay. There's this one guy, and I, we, I forget his name. If you guys know, if you guys know this name, <laughs> he's I don't know. <laughs> if you guys know his, if you if you guys know the name, comment below the name. But there's one guy, and he was kind of like the town crazy guy. Not crazy, but like he wasn't. He was the guy that kind of saw beyond the box whatever he didn't wasn't stay within the box and he stood there and he stared at the rock for days and he just stared and he looked and one of his friends came in and stood there and stared at the rock as well hey this all might be fiction but someone told me a story and i believe it so you guys i don't know fact check me it might be fiction but whatever his friend came and stared at the rock with them they stared and they stared and they wondered and what do you do he said you know what i'm going to climb that rock and his friend said you're crazy but i think yeah ya nos vamos okay no. Okay, so stay tuned for the, the rest of the story. That's the, that's the first part, and I'll continue the rest as we go on the tour. Yeah, stay tuned. So we're riding now. I'm gonna finish that story in a bit, guys. Don't even worry about it. But uh, I'm riding, so I don't wanna tell the story while I'm riding. But what a beautiful place. Tell me, guys, in the comments. Is this beautiful or what? Let me know who, who has been here already. Who has been here and who, who wants to come here? So Christian up there has that new GoPro and he's riding around with it and I made fun of him. I said, yeah, you're the Google. You're the Google car. But it's actually, look at him still holding the GoPro up. But he's actually uh, probably the Bing or the Yahoo car because uh, it's a little bit cheaper. <laughs> or whatever, whatever new search engines out there that can't afford to get a car, they pay Christian on a bicycle uh, to walk, go around with this uh, camera <laughs> and mapping out what to pay. Si or no? <laughs> Alright guys, we're gonna continue. I'm gonna concentrate on my ride so I don't have an accident. But hey, I'm, I'm safe, I'm wearing a helmet, so we're all good. Alright, we continue. So we stopped for technical difficulties. I'll continue with the story. So what the guy did was him and his buddies were standing there and he said, I'm gonna climb that damn thing, I'm gonna own this rock. You know, just because he wanted to see if he can get to the top. And he went and he found one of these crevices along the, the side of the, the, the rock and he started pounding in wood, wooden pegs. He pounded in a wooden peg, and another wooden peg, and, out, and he started climbing gradually up the rock, okay? Putting in wooden pegs and climbing to the top. Well, after a while, he made it to the top. He got to the top of the rock. And what happened? 
he was so afraid to come down he didn't want to come down the wind was blowing real hard and he's and you know how it is it's always easier to climb up than come and then climb down right so he got up to the top and he was so afraid that he stayed there up there and i don't remember how long but it was quite a bit of time until finally he built the courage to come back down and when he came back down from the rock he was the new owner of this rock and what does that mean at that time nobody really knew the value of this rock they're like well he owns a rock good for him you know but after time, when, when, he, when he came down, people started walking up to him or coming up to him and say, hey, what was it like up top? What were you able to see? What was the, the view like? How was it? And then after a while, so many people were talk, asking him about it, how, how it was on top. He said, you know what? I'll take you up top. And he started taking people up top and he started charging people to go up with him. And then what happened? The money that he made from charging people, he gradually improved his little ladder, his little stairs. And to the point where he started building, he built a, a wooden stairs to go up, okay? And for the longest time, it was a wooden stairs going up the rock. Until I don't know how many years ago, tell me in the comments if you guys know, they replaced the wooden stairs for concrete stairs. And now it's concrete stairs. And in normal times, the amount of people that go up this rock every day, let me, let me, let me, let me ask, uh, one, or, or Christian, Eh, ¿Cuántas personas al día sube esa, esa piedra? I don't know. <laughs> Ay, por Dios. Juan, how many people go up this rock a day? For like a thousand probably, right? Yeah. Do you know, ¿cuánto, cuánto cobran? Uh, last time I was here, uh, 12,000 and that was four years ago. So 12,000 is like four dollars, five dollars a person? Yeah. So like say five dollars, and correct me if I'm wrong in the comments as always, five dollars a person and on a normal day, uh, I would say more, a, a, a thousand, two thousand people go up this rock. So times that, five times a thousand, that's five thousand dollars a day, probably more, that this family is making just from having a stairs and a gate and charging at the gate to climb to the top. That crazy guy, a long time, no, he wasn't crazy, but everybody in the city thought he was crazy to do what he did. Now it's probably one of the most wealthiest people, has the most wealthiest families in Colombia that there is. And it's just because they own a stupid rock. Can you imagine that? So next time that you guys see a big rock and the government's going to give it to you for, for climbing, go for it. <laughs> climb the damn thing and get to it and then charge five bucks a person to climb too. All right? So that's the story. Stay tuned. We'll continue on. <laughs> I just climbed this mountain here. It's a very big mountain. And even on five, I'm breathing. It was hard. Just imagine if I had no electric motor. <laughs> but on five, but look at this view, guys. Holy moly. Wowzers. And it's gonna get better as I get higher, so stay tuned. Hey, Juan. I don't know if you can see it. I'll get closer. But there's the new concrete steps that the family invested so we all can go up safely and pay our five to ten dollars. I'll ask him how much it is, see how much it was. Stay tuned. So we all came back at 26 degrees Celsius, so we're all dead. We're zombies, so it, it, if I don't think the the virus can uh, kill a zombie, so we're good to go. We're good to go, right, one? We're good to go, man. <laughs> zombie, we're zombie land. Zombie land. There we go. This is uh, after all this is all over, everybody's gonna be zombies, huh? All right, guys, stay tuned. Also, the family was making a lot of money on this rock. This is stupid rock that nobody wanted to climb. Last time I was here, that was just like last year or so. All of this was rocks. All of this was rocks, not very nicely done. Look, it's all paved out now, super nice with the parking spots. They're progressing, man. They're they're making it nice. Maybe the next maybe the next one, the next investment will be one. Que, que crees? Do you think the next investment will be uh, uh, electric uh, escalators? Probably probably one of those not. Probably one of those uh, uh, cable carts. Probably a cable. I was saying like electric escalators, but no, it's the whole experience is climbing that thing. That's a that's a no. big climb. So that's like the experience. Maybe they might put an elevator for like handicapped and charge like triple. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, let's go check it out. So what, what I was telling before about how the stairs were wood first. Juan is remembering when he was back to being 14 years old, when he was a kid, that it was wooden floor, wooden steps, and on some steps there was broken. And that's super, super freaking high. And what they would do is they would put like a small little sign saying, watch out for this step. And Juan was talking how he was so afraid to step over the step with his dad, right? So 
You guys are lucky to come here and get concrete steps. No, now they're concrete steps. It's a whole different story. Do you know how long ago they did that though? You don't remember? No, no, no. I don't know, man. So it initially started with wooden Actually, pegs. I'm kind of curious that I said something about the cable cars because look, look yeah. at the cable. That Possibly. has never been there before. That wasn't their last name either. And look, they're building something over there. They're so building they something. They're, they're probably going to do a cable car going up. They're doing something. For sure. Yeah. For, for maybe the handicapped people who can't climb. No. Oh, maybe for material because they're, they're constructing up there. Maybe it's we'll, we'll be super sweet with a zip line coming down. <laughs> That'll be freaking sweet. A zip line going from the rock to that mountain. Straight to the water. Straight to the water. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Anyway, so it started with wooden pegs and then went to wooden steps and now it's concrete. So, anyways, let's check out this view. So, we got soaked for you guys. Man, we got soaked in this rain. Worked really hard on the bicycles, sweated a lot, ate some good food. <laughs> so, you guys can come and check out this uh, beautiful. Is this, I think it's probably one of the one of the wonders of the world. Do you know if this is one of the wonders of the world or no? I don't know. I don't know, I don't, I don't know I either. I think so. Maybe of Colombia, definitely. Oh, I yeah. <laughs> Not, who knows? If anybody knows, comment below. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Might be, if there's anything else interesting, I'll turn on the camera. If not, then you know this will be the end but of the video. Not the end of the world. Of the video. So stay tuned. <laughs> All right, guys. So... I was wrong. It wasn't 12,000 to go up a person. It's actually 20,000 pesos per person to go up these stairs. And how many people per day? I have no idea. I'm going to ask somebody. I'm going to ask that lady that's right over there. Yeah, that's, I'm, we're just going to ask this lady how many people a day uh, to find out how much money this, this family makes in reality. Because think about it. They got people working and stuff. I think the only people who are working are these girls like in these jackets operating the gate. That's like the employees. All this commercial stuff. That's their commercial properties, but they rent it out to other people to run their commercial property, commercial businesses, whatever. So think about it. The cost of the business is probably nothing. Well, obviously they invested to build the stairs, but after the, the initial investment is just having these employees charging the tickets and going in 20,000 pesos a person. And let's find out how many people a day typically come. All right, guys, so we're on September 16th. Actually, today, we're lucky. Today is the first day they're reopening after the pandemic. But the, the lady told us that on average, by day, it's 1,200 people come to climb these stairs and to go up to the top. And I'm telling y'all, the view up top is actually worth it because it's amazing, it's beautiful. We're not gonna climb it today. We'll leave that for you guys to do it on your own when you come uh, or check on YouTube, other videos, whatever. But yeah, 1,200 people on average coming, and on the weekends, probably double that, you know, so 20,000 pesos. That's pretty crazy, huh? That is crazy. Uh, do you know of, uh, of the family, like maybe they have a daughter that's single? <laughs> no? You don't know? That's in her early 20s. Yeah, uh, well, you're married. <laughs> I'm, I'm not married. I'm not married yet, so uh, if the family's watching, and you got any girl, a daughter, single, that needs a, you know, a good guy, here I am. <laughs> Nati, forgive me. <laughs> I think my girlfriend would be okay with that. Married into that family. <laughs> Alright guys, stay tuned. I'll, I'll turn on the camera if anything else interesting happens. If not, this will be the end of the video. I don't know. We'll see. Stay tuned. Guys, I'm not sure if you remember, we thought the cabins we saw a long time ago was part of the Charlie Hotel from Jeddah's Park. No, we were wrong. This is this is uh, the Charlie Hotel. Luke's by the Charlie. And I don't see the hotel, actual hotel. It's probably far down in there. But I can imagine it's super nice. You've never been to this here, Juan, have you? No. 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 I bet it's super nice inside. Anyways, it's kind of abandoned. That's kind of weird. Look, they're it looks, and everything. It looks abandoned. And I heard gossip, rumors, the grapevine that uh, they're having problems, but that could be totally false. Don't don't quote me on that. But uh, the other ones that we saw were called Join. J O I N. Huh? Se ve feo. Yeah. Se ve feo means it looks ugly. Se ve feo. All right, guys, stay tuned. All right, guys, check this out. So we're entering the Watape, and here's like the traditional paintings of the houses. And each family, each home, does a different symbol for their house. Okay, so this one's this symbol. That one's a horse. The next one's something else. This one's flowers. So when we get to the actual pueblo. A what to pay you're gonna see a lot of these houses i'm not sure if we're gonna enter or not i don't know i just wanted to show you guys this and check out this little taxi moto that's pretty cool like a chiva anyways they left me i'm really far behind i stopped to show you guys so stay tuned and try to catch up with them yeah i'm putting it on five check it out here we're in what to pay town inside it's very beautiful 
But over here, I just want to show you all something real quick. Here's the lake, of course. But if you all see this boat over here, I'm not sure if you can see it. There's a boat right here that's kind of shipwrecked and crashed on the shore. Why, they, why is that there? Why have they not cleaned it up? It's because I don't know how many years ago, maybe five, six, seven years ago, I'm not sure. But it's a private, it was a private company and they didn't maintain their boat very well. They overloaded the boat and there was an accident and uh, it actually sank here in the lake and a lot of people had, you know, got injured or some people died even. So they leave that there as a memory for everybody else to know, look, stay safe. You know, it's not worth it, take care, that kind of stuff. So anyways, if y'all come here and see that boat ship, uh, shipwreck, that's the reason, it's there for memory to remind people to be safe, especially the business owners. Yeah. All right, guys, check it out. So we're now we're in the Pueblo Huatape, and it's known for these kind of houses, all beautifully painted. And the bottom of the house is painted with the family symbols. So I'm gonna try to record as best I can with my camera and riding the bike one-handed. Let's see. Opa. Old church right there. Sorry if it's a bumpy ride, guys. But uh, you know me. All right, so we go. All right, so I'm gonna sh show y'all. So this this city, this town, this town, this, this pueblo, uh, is usually packed with with foreigners and with with. Uh, tourists and everything I haven't seen it like this ever and look how beautiful it is right here let me see, let me ride down here hey. let's go right down this way so check out this nice lamps and his houses so like I said usually this place is packed with foreigners and it's totally empty so hopefully it'll all come back very soon let's see Check it out here guys, so beautiful. Ah. So beautiful. Huh. I'm leaving them behind so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of the town. Cause I think they wanted to take off some. I'm being a rebel and I'm coming in the middle where it's beautiful. So y'all can see as well. I think they're following me now. All right, and I'm going against traffic. Okay, let's turn around. Ay, qué pena. Es que solo quiero mostrar este. So this dog has been following us the whole way. Not the whole way, but since we arrived in the town. I guess this is our adopted dog now. But that's one thing I've noticed. Every time I've gone to Pueblos with my girlfriend or to visit, there's always one dog that, that wants to join us for, to, for adventure and, like, and, and basically accompany us the whole way. I don't know why they do this, but they do it here in Colombia, the dogs. The, there's always the one Pueblo dog that was, wants to you know, just join never fails every single pueblo i go to I always find one that wants to come you know come tag along <laughs> all right so check it out guys so beautiful there he goes Oy. beautiful Here's the main square of Watape, and there's the church. Beautiful church. Every town has a beautiful church. And I think I lost my friends. Let me go try to find them. There they are. I got held up. I wanted to show around. Hey, 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 hey. So they did the circle. All right, guys. Stay tuned. 
It's the other side of the street here in the same in the town square. People are out eating, they're here. People are coming to visit Watape, that's good. And Blackie here is still joining me. <laughs> it's so funny. But um, yeah, so that's it. That's the end of the video. We're done with the tour. We're done with the bike tour. If you guys want to hook up with Christian and have a bike tour with him on electric bikes going to Watape, Santa Elena, and I think he has a hotel near um, Cartagena, I'll put his link, I'll put his information in the, in the pinned comment in the description. You guys can reach out to him. Other than that, thank you so much for joining me in the video. And uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Stay positive. See you on the next video. Yeah, anything to say, Blackie? Hey, anything to say? Anything to say? No? Okay. See y'all later. Take care. Ojuela. All right, guys. So, going to end the day with a massive Ojuela. Colombiano. All right, guys. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it. But you see those people in the car? Oh, they're leaving me. They're leaving me. That is hilarious how they... That's the bus of the campo. El bus del campo. Can y'all see him? <laughs> Comment below if y'all saw him. Alright guys, here it comes, here it comes. Watch out, here it comes, here it comes. Here it comes. There they are. Hey! <laughs> yeah, y'all saw him.